Hello people, it's Blind Advocate. Um just a video about the new Xbox One features. I have been wanting to do a video on this uh, for a while. Um I have had a lot on but also I've been waiting ever since um this feature was released on the Xbox Insider Hub. Um I thought I'd wait a little till you know they they add more to it because it wasn't fully complete and the more feedback they got from the gaming community the more they could add to it so this is to do with the xbox accessibility spotlight um and there are uh, developers that can now add tags to the games they're working on to make it easier for the uh, disabled community uh, gamers to find what games are accessible to them. So I'm gonna do just a small video on what it's about. I do have the magnifier on and the narrator on. Um, I'll be zooming in a lot as well, just to make it a little easier. Um, so is how to do it. So you don't have to enable anything. It just comes automatically. So. Um, from the Microsoft Store, you see a big rundown from the the games, the the films, apps, um, hardware, what's in your basket, your wish list. But at the top, near uh, on home, you just go right. Store home, one of four button. Go down. Deals, two of four. So below button. deals. Accessibility spotlight. <laughs> Three of four, but accessibility. Most tapped, explore selected Spotlight. games with accessibility features. Some developers have tagged their games for supporting accessible gameplay, audio, visuals, and input features based on required criteria. These games stand out for having four or more accessibility features. Button. Okay, so. Button. If button madden nfl 22 xbox series xs two of 96 original price pound six so do i um NHL let me just turn narrator off dialogue pie with macron okay narrator's off there are a lot of sports games on here um so if i look for there's there's one i did do an interview with um henshaw's on video games like minecraft so if i click on minecraft i go down so here's the game information so it will show um here it is um shows like the publisher developer the description about the game right let's use um magnification here uh player modes xbox live okay accessibility so i've been scrolling to the right and it has accessibility and here the supported languages which there's quite a lot of languages there that's uh, are supported and let's click on accessibility what we're here for gameplay so it'll have the uh, two features of gameplay let's click on it Adjustable difficulty. Um, I like to use peaceful a lot of the time when a lot of the Minecraft mobs, uh, you know, ruin it for me and I just want a chilled game. And progress, uh, saving uh, options, so auto save, manual save. Um, I, do, I do prefer manual saves. Um, you could be in a sticky situation and then it auto saves you load it back up and then yeah it's hard to get out of that um audio options customized volume controls so i haven't tested that um i know there was something about um like audio cues uh, with the to do with the visuals so if there's a a sheep or a cow making a sound um 
like the sheep or cows icon will pop up um, when it's making a sound, footsteps or um, other stuff, same with the mobs, so I don't know if you can change the volume of each one of them, I will give that a test actually, uh, visual colour options which um, is good, I'm, I am uh, also colour blind other than having Libra's hereditary optic neuropathy, um, I'd ca I can't pronounce it. Dute, Dutopia, is it where I see uh, a, a better lot of seeing like blues, um, greens, oranges. I'm not that good. Good at yellows and that uh, pink. And <clears throat> steady camera, yeah, like steady camera motion. Anything to do with motion blur or camera shake, I don't like because um, it it distracts me. It will take my uh, my eye off the what's uh, like my aim. What to do? Objective. I'm like easily distracted. Um, so I'm glad that's a feature and input on input full keyboard support. Um, I'm not a mouse and keyboard, but. A lot of people that use PC uh, or um, laptops, anything, you know, they'd, they'd prefer that. Um, single stick gameplay. I've never tried single stick gameplay. Um, if anyone knows more about that, I'll put in the comments uh, to let myself know and other gamers. And we got text to speech and speech to text communications um i've tried that it it's it's helpful um so that's them features on there and we have some sports ones what's this is this mad madden american football game um let's see what this supports If I can find it, where is it? Okay. Where is it accessible there? No data reviews. Yeah. Accessibility. So gameplay, it's got three features. Accessibility on launch so as soon as you launch the game the accessibility options are going to be there for you um it's going to be it's, uh, the narrator will be on telling you what options you're enabling disabling um adjustable difficulty and on demand tutorials i, I like tutorials you told me uh, which buttons are which um Instead of looking through the console control settings and you know knowing how to play the game is a good thing. Just, um, import text to speech, speech to text communications. That's also a feature and audio, spatial audio. I think that's really good. Get yourself um, a decent pair of headphones. Um, and then all is good. Um, another thing before I go, um, <clears throat> for the totally blind gamers, there are a few games uh, that have been uh, released. There's um, The Veil, um, which I've, I've had um, a little go. Um, it's binaural audio there's no visuals involved so put on a pair of headphones and you, you you'd need your controller and you just move the analog sticks where led this but um it's, it's a nice adventure game and a western drama was recently released so i need to get hold of that um to have a go of that to, to see how that is i like um I like games, um, audio games, so, yeah, let me know which are your favourite features um, on the accessibility spotlight. 
um, your favourite Xbox game or if there's any PC game you'd like to come to the Xbox and yeah let me know if you've played The Veil or a Western Drama also or if there's any audio games you'd like to uh, see on the Xbox um, yeah so I'm excited about this feature I think more developers should um, work up from accessibility um, you know I've been visually impaired now for a long, a long time um, over over 17 years um, but I still manage to game there's people out there that f find it difficult but with developers working around it you know they can make it accessible let let people in the disabled community get into gaming once again let them have fun um you know then nintendo switch got on it with um some audio based games um is it one two switch which um was also featured in the interview that i did with henshaws um, I'll also add that to the description of this video as well if you want to have a read of the interview. Um, yeah, so hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, take care and stay safe.